Great to be joined by Tiffany No Chill Tio. Massive fight coming up for you, Tiffany, at one championship inside mm -hmm. the matrix. It's going to be a big one. Rematch with Chong Jing Nan, strawweight championship on the line. I was there in Jakarta last time you guys fought two years ago, and you were an absolute um, warrior in that fight. Yeah. So, almost, how's this one going to go? Yeah, I think it's almost been like three years, nearing three years. Yeah. So, 2018, yeah, early 2018, right? Yeah, January 2018, yeah. Yeah, so I think yeah, it will be a very different fight. I feel like both of us will have uh, improved and evolved a lot as an MMA fighter. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it has been two, yeah, two, three years since we have last met. So I think it'll be a really exciting matchup. This is a matchup I've personally been kind of waiting for for a long time. I've been mm -hmm. like, asking one when are we going to see that one have you do you feel like you've been waiting for this rematch for a while now uh yeah i i, I felt like i've been waiting for it at the same time i also feel like i had to earn the rematch because uh she was my only loss and after that she defended a title a few times and there were a few top contenders in the division too so i felt like i had to i had to prove my worth as the top contender you know yeah, so I did what I had to. I had a, I had two wins. I won Michelle. I won Ayaka, and yeah, I'm back, back at the title contention again. Yeah, that last win was massive for you. I was there in Singapore in February. Yeah. Uh, that was the first <laughs> behind closed doors event, and yeah, that was that a was really, really yeah, that was an yeah. epic performance. Do you think that was the best <laughs> win of your career that night? Uh, I would say one of the best wins. Yeah, so. Yeah, so the first round, I got everyone into a heart attack, getting into like deep trouble like early in the round and managed to weather the storm and dominate it for the next two rounds. Yeah, and it was a really interesting experience. You know, uh, I've, I've always fought in, at the indoor stadium in Singapore, but it was the first time, you know, a big stadium with no audience at all. So it was a really refreshing experience, my last fight, yeah. Do you let yourself go back and enjoy the wins? Do you watch the wins sometimes just to remind yourself how good you are? Uh, I do watch my fights. So just to, you know, pick up things, pick, pick up on things that uh, just to like gauge like what, what I should work on, like my, my weaknesses and things that I did wrong or I felt like could have done better just to kind of like a review. Yeah. Has it been interesting for you in a way that Chong Jing Nan was training at Bali MMA and then she was signed by Evolve? So knowing that she's just, you know, not too far away, uh, maybe even a walk away from you in Singapore yeah, this yeah. whole time, has yeah. that been interesting for you? Uh, not really, because in fact, even when the first time I fought, so I was doing my camp at Taiga Muay Thai in Phuket. And she was doing her cam in, uh, I think, at Phuket Top Team. So we were really near to each other. I think I even bumped into her a couple of times while we were training in Phuket. So, yeah, inter interestingly, I haven't bumped into her, like, throughout her whole stay in Singapore, except for during my last fight when she was supporting a teammate. Yeah, so I haven't bumped into her at all. Yeah, so it wasn't, not, not, nothing, nothing's different. Yeah. I think the, the cliche, if you like, is that you learn more from your losses than your wins. But if you look, you know, as we mentioned, your whole career, the only time you tasted defeat was against her. You went to the fourth yeah. round and uh -huh. you were just, you would not be put away. You know, you kept coming back. Yeah. Do you feel like yeah. you really learned a lot that night? Uh, I wouldn't, okay, how should I put it? Like that night opened my eyes to a lot of things that I had to work on as a, to become a, a, a proficient, a good uh, a mixed martial artist. So that night uh, made me realize the loopholes, the weaknesses in my games. And those were things that I had to work on, you know, if I wanted to be one of the best in Singapore in, in the division. Yeah. So yeah, for sure, it changed the way I thought about fighting. It changed the way I approach my approaches to training. Yeah. It's interesting because MMA is still super young in Singapore in a way. And uh, I was yeah. saying to, to a couple of journalists very recently that you're probably one of mm -hmm. the best MMA fighters in the history of the country. Who do you think is the best MMA fighter in the history of Singapore? MMA fighter. Uh, I was, um, the thing with MMA for females, for females at least, there's, there's not a lot of competitive you know, female MMA fighters out of Singapore. But there's quite a quite a lot of like male MMA athletes, some up, up and coming ones, 
like Amir Khan is going to fight uh, in the upcoming card in Singapore too. I think that will be a really good matchup. Uh, and some of my teammates, uh, they are all they are all like up and coming. They have a few pro fights under their record, and yeah, I think that uh, they they have a very different style of fighting from what most people are used to seeing in in Asia at least. So I'm really excited to see what's what's in it for them. You know, when they go onto the bigger stage, yeah. What would this mean for you and for for Singapore if you could win this world title? It would be it would be a piece of history, right? Yeah, definitely, and especially with everything that's going on right now, uh, with uh, COVID, circuit breaker, everything is kind of like you know uncertain. And I really love to bring this win back to Singapore, being the first you know world champ out of Singapore. Yeah. How much? What is it about her? Do you think that is the biggest threat, or what impresses you most? I re- I recall I think when you first met, it was really her boxing mm-hmm. and her counter punching that was very impressive on the night. Uh, mm-hmm. You seem to have improved a lot as a martial artist in the last few years. So, so is that what you're looking from her? Her striking, her boxing. Uh, what are you looking out for? Yeah, I think her strength would definitely be her striking. Uh, like from all her past fights, we have seen how she has stopped most of her opponent uh, with her strikes. So that is definitely her strength. And uh, besides her striking, I feel like she has also improved a lot. You know, in other areas of uh, mixed martial arts, her grappling, her defense, and all. Yeah, so uh, I think it'll be a fight where you'll see a lot of exchanges, not just uh, not just the striking exchanges, a lot of wrestling, grappling. Uh, I would say I expect a pretty well-rounded MMA fight for the upcoming bout, yeah. Now that shows are kind of back in a way, in earnest, it's great to have the show yeah, back in yeah, Singapore. Yeah. We've seen mm-hmm. several in Thailand before this. Do you want to, no matter what, you know, whether you win or whether you don't, is your, your intention now to to really jump back in and, and get as active as possible because you're called no chill, right? You, you have by, by no <laughs> means been chilling during lockdown. I've seen you yeah. working in car parks. You're looking in great shape. Mm-hmm. So now is it just about competing again regularly? Yes, I've, I've always uh, tried to stay like active competing. You know, even when I'm not doing MMA, I'm like competing in other competitions like jiu-jitsu, wrestling, whatever comp there is, I'm always down to compete. Yeah, so the interesting thing with this whole COVID is um, actually uh, competing more this year compared to what I used to. So the past, I've only fought once uh, once a year for the past two fights. Yeah, so this time around, uh, I'm actually fighting twice this year, which is, uh, yeah, it's like twice of what I'm used to fighting in a year. So I guess, yeah, I'm excited to be back, you know, fighting, fighting more and just competing in general. Yeah. What would be the perfect number for you if you had it your way in terms of fights per year? Um, ideally, about two to three would be a good number to have, like, you know, proper preparation and yeah, recovery in between in in between bouts. Yeah. There's some interesting kind of, uh, for want of a better word, gossip around uh, some of the mm-hmm. female athletes this week. In one, you must have seen okay. the back and forth between Angela. Lee and Denise Samuanga, you've been linked with a fight with Angela almost your whole career. Mm-hmm. So yeah. do, you, do you have some thoughts on that whole situation about should Angela vacate? Do you like the fact that they're doing a Grand Prix? Denise thinks she should vacate. Angela says that Denise has to earn her shot. I know that you're a straw weight for now at least, but, mm-hmm. but do you keep an eye on that? Do you have any thoughts on that situation? I just, I just, I heard some of my friends talking about it. I haven't really read up much about it, but I heard that there's this like back and forth argument going on between Angela and Denise. And uh, yeah, I think uh, there'll be the Grand Prix, right? For there'll be like eight atom weights fighting for to be the top contender, I think. That's what I heard. Yeah, so yeah, I think that, yeah, kind of, because Angela just, you know, she's expecting a baby and she'll be out for like a year and, Personally, I feel like you can't like just put a division on hold, you know, for one year. I mean, it's like you know, it, life still goes on, the championship still goes on. Maybe an interim interim belt would make sense, I guess. Yeah. And does that still interest you? I know it's all eyes on on the panda right now, but uh, mm-hmm. Angela's only twenty four. She's going to be around for a long time. Is that yeah, a fight sure. that's yeah. inevitable for you guys? Even though you're in different divisions, do you think it's bound to happen one day? Yeah, I feel like it eventually happened. Just that it's kind of a tricky situation now for Angela. It's like, 
So she fought in the straw weight twice, right? She lost to Xiong and she lost to Michelle. And yeah, I, I won Michelle. It's just like, you know, the, it's, like, it's, it's kind of weird to make a fight happen at straw weight, I would say. And uh, yeah, I'll be keen to, if I could drop, I, I haven't dropped down to atom weight before. I mean, if I could make the weight, I would like to fight her at atom weight. Australia, like I would really love to see the fight that happen. It's more like a fight for the fans, you know. Most of the fans they are really rooting for that fight to happen. Yeah. Hopefully one day. Uh, are you? Are you somebody? Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about predictions? Journalists must ask you all the time. How's the fight gonna um, go? How do you feel about predictions? Uh, how how is this one gonna go in your mind anyway? Yeah, the thing is, I have no answer to that because it's like. I feel like anything can happen in a fight, especially for MMA fight, you know, there's like so many different things involved. There's the grappling exchanges, you know, there's punches, kicks, everything. Like, yeah, it's, I, I, I don't really have a prediction for that, yeah. Just generally speaking, do you feel like you've been able to use this time during lockdown? Because I know that you're doing amazing things over there with Major. And again, mm -hmm. I think in the last few years, you just, you, you look like somebody who's just leveled up every time. So is there any particular area that you're really pleased with that you're really hoping to show off in this one? Um, I guess my transformation into like a well-rounded MMA fighter, that's what I've always wanted to be. Yeah, it's like, that's the thing with MMA, right? It's, it's, it's how you put all the different aspects of the martial arts together and make it look like a mixed martial arts. It's not just about boxing. It's not just about kickboxing or wrestling or, you know, it's about how you put everything together and make it work for you, have a game plan out of that. So that's one thing I really hope that will showcase for the upcoming fight. Yeah, a well-rounded well fighter, yeah.